welcome back to my channel. So today I'm doing a little bump date for you guys. So today I am currently 20 weeks. When you watch this video, I'll be 21 weeks. So I'm gonna talk about kind of like from the beginning of when I found out I'm, I was pregnant until now. And then I'm also gonna answer some of your guys' questions that you guys asked me on Instagram. I guess we should just start with the bump. I'll show you guys what my belly looks like now. So this is my belly currently. I am 20 weeks. Feel a lot um, bigger with this one, that's for sure. You can see the bottom of my belly button already, which is crazy. So that's the bump. So it's definitely a lot bigger at 20 weeks than when I was pregnant with Lake. I'll insert a picture right here so you guys can see how big I was with Lake in comparison to this baby. So as you can see, I barely even have a bump. Like the bump was just starting to show at this point when I was pregnant with Lake. Let's talk about how I found out I was pregnant. So as some of you guys know, my husband and I got married this past summer. And then after that, we ended up going to Calgary. The reason why I knew, kind of knew I was pregnant was because I was supposed to get my period immediately after my wedding, like the day following my wedding. And my period has had been really, really regular. Like it, that was the most regular it had ever been in my entire life. So when the second day came after our wedding and I didn't get my period, I was like, that's strange. I thought maybe I didn't get it because, I don't know, maybe because we had been drinking a lot or I, I thought it was weird, but whatever, it's just one day. And then like two or three days had passed and we were in Calgary. And I was like, babe, I think I should probably take a pregnancy test. Like, I feel like there might be a possibility that I'm pregnant. <laughs> so right before we hit the road, we stopped at a Tim Hortons. I mean, like every Canadian does before you go on a road trip. And I had bought a pregnancy test um, a few hours before because we stopped at um, a shoppers or something like that. And I was like, I gotta go inside. I gotta go pee. I'll meet you guys in a second. So I ran into the, <laughs> ran into the Tim Hortons. I peed on the pregnancy test, sat in there for a second. And yeah, I found out that I was pregnant in a Tim Hortons. <laughs> I couldn't stop smiling. I mean, obviously, like, I was so excited. I was excited, but, like, kind of, like, ooh, at the same time, because Clint and I weren't trying to to get pregnant. We actually wanted to try and get pregnant in January. And I go and I get into the car, and I'm just, like, sitting there, like, just kind of, like, smiling. And Clint's like, what? I'm like, nothing. He's like, you took the pregnancy test. And I'm like, no, I didn't. He's like, yeah, you did. And I just, like, could not keep my mouth shut. It's like, we kind of had to keep it a secret because we were in the car with other people. So we couldn't just be like, ah, just like celebrate. So I like showed him like the pregnancy test like this. And then we were sitting in the car like this, like the entire ride. <laughs> and like, we couldn't talk about it until we got to our hotels. It's not your typical, like, I didn't like surprise Clint with pregnancy test or like say you're gonna be a dad again or anything like that. Nope, peed on a pregnancy test into Morton's and showed Clint on the way to Edmonton or Calgary or wherever we were going to. So that's how we found out that I was pregnant. I think I found out and I was like six weeks or eight weeks pregnant or something like that. The first few weeks were fine. I felt fine. And then it wasn't until I got back to Nashville. That was when it really hit me, like the morning sickness and the feeling really tired and run down. Honestly, almost depressed. Like Clint said it was so different then like the way that I, the way that I was, the way that I was acting, the way that I was feeling and everything like that. It was just so different in comparison to Lake. I wanted to just sleep all the time. I mean, I was tired because my body was like obviously changing. Like, I took naps every time Lake took a nap. I just wanted to sit on the couch. I didn't want to do anything. The first few weeks were just terrible for me. I was sick, like I felt really sick, but I never threw up. It was just a constant like big lump in my throat all the time. I hated it and I, I could not wait for it to go away. I couldn't drink coffee, which sucked because coffee made my stomach feel really, really sick. I thought, I was like, okay, well maybe I'll drink coffee and that'll break, like, you know, boost my energy levels and then maybe I'll get some stuff done but I couldn't drink coffee. It made me feel so sick. It hurt my stomach. I didn't like the smell, so that didn't work. I tried drinking teas. I switched to drinking um, London Fogs, which helped a little bit, but it didn't help a lot. You know, like how coffee kind of gives you that little ready to like ready to go kind of feeling. When I was pregnant with Lake, in the beginning, I couldn't drink coffee either. It didn't upset my stomach. It was the smell, like the smell of coffee. With Lake, I did throw up. That, like, I almost prefer vomiting than not vomiting. With Lake, it was like, I'd smell something, I'd get sick, I'd run to the bathroom and I'd throw up. That was one thing that was a lot different with Lake than with this pregnancy. They say usually things start to change at around 12 weeks, but even 12 weeks, like, I still felt pretty sick. 14 or 15 weeks was when I started to feel normal again. 
time. So kind of around the time actually when we were about to go to Asia, thank God. When I was in Asia, Southeast Asia, I don't know if their coffee is like not as strong as it is here, but I was able to drink coffee in Southeast Asia, which was really nice. Since we're on the topic of like coffee and food, I'll talk about my cravings. My cravings have been the complete opposite of what I had with Lake. So with Lake, I constantly craved pancakes, donuts, chocolate, fruit, anything that had sugar in it, I wanted it. With this one, I'm craving more like vinegar. Like I want salt vinegar chips and potatoes with like sour cream and onions and garlic and steak. Like, oh, I love steak with this pregnancy. Hot sauce, like I love, 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 love hot wings and Caesars, or if you're from the States, it's kind of equivalent to a Bloody Mary-ish. Yeah, so basically like vinegary things, like hash browns with vinegar and salt and pepper on it. Mm, so good. Those are the differences with my cravings. Um, I wanna kind of go back to like the morning sickness thing. With Lake, because I was only sick if I smelt a certain thing, I'd run to the bathroom and throw up and then I could go back to doing my thing. So it made it a lot easier for me to work out and stay active. I worked out my entire pregnancy, like from day one, when I found out I was pregnant with Lake, all the way until the last day. I think with Lake, I gained 25 pounds. I was a little heavier when I first found out I was pregnant with Lake. I think I was like 120 pounds. I think by the end of my pregnancy with Lake, I weighed 145. I think, like at the end, my pregnancy with Lake. With this pregnancy, I was at my lowest weight that I had ever been. I was working out really, really hard, eating really clean. It was just, it was the best that I had felt. Like I was 113, 114 pounds. And then I got pregnant and everything kind of just like went downhill. I couldn't work out because I felt tired all the time and sick all the time. So I haven't really been working out that much with this pregnancy, which really sucks. I've started to now, now that I'm back from Asia, I've been working out pretty consistently. Like I've worked out since I've been back three times a week, which reminds me I have to do that today. So I've been working out just at home in my spare bedroom. I'm gonna start working out more consistently because not only does it help with like losing weight after you have a baby, but it also helped me a lot during my labor and delivery with Lake. I labored for five hours and I pushed him out in 10 minutes. And I hear that if you work out and you have a good cardiovascular, I think it's called, it's supposed to help you during labor and delivery. So I really wanna get back into that, mainly for my labor and delivery. Like I don't really care about after I give birth and about losing the weight because I can do that. I've done it before. I know what it takes in order to lose baby weight. So I'm not worried about that. I'm worried about staying fit so that I have a good labor and delivery. Oh, this is kind of like something that's a little TMI, but I don't really care. I'm gonna to talk to you guys about it because whatever. With this pregnancy, I don't know whether this means like that I'm having a boy or a girl or what, but my, <laughs> I'm kind of embarrassed to say this. My BO <laughs> smells 10 times worse with this pregnancy than with Lake or on a regular basis. I've never smelled this much in my life. It sucks. Like I feel bad for people who just have bad BO on a regular basis. Like I hate it. So that's something that's kind of weird that I never thought would change. Another thing that changed is my skin, finally. My skin is starting to clear up and I'm so, so happy. And I feel like it's because of this pregnancy because I don't know what else it would be. I didn't change much. I didn't stop eating certain thing or anything like that. So I don't know why my skin is changing, but this pregnancy has cleared up my skin. For now, fingers crossed, I don't wanna jinx it. It could just be like a for right now thing. The beginning of the of this pregnancy didn't clear my skin. It wasn't until like I hit 18 or 19 weeks it started to clear up. My boobs, I feel like I should talk about that. <laughs> I feel like I can talk about that because most of you guys probably have kids or you're gonna want kids and I feel like I could talk about this stuff with you guys. So my boobs and my nipples have been like 10 times more sensitive with this one than with Lake. I didn't even feel my boobs change really with Lake. I mean, I felt they got bigger obviously, but like they weren't sensitive, they didn't hurt, so that's something that's new. So I don't, I didn't really do like a bump date. I kind of did like a comparison video, this pregnancy compared to when I was pregnant with Lake, but that's kind of like what has happened from day one until today. So I'm going to move on to the Q and A part of this video. So you guys asked me a few questions on my Instagram. Okay, so first question is, how has Lake reacted to your pregnancy? I just think he thinks I'm getting fat. 
<laughs> no, I'm just kidding. He looks at my belly and like he'll like poke at it and stuff and like hit it Not hit it, but like tap it I think he's kind of like wondering why my stomach is getting bigger maybe but that's about it I mean, I, po I point at it and I say hey, baby baby and he just like looks at his belly button and points at his belly button Because he thinks I'm talking about my belly button. So he doesn't really get it I don't think he's too little as he learns more and more like how to talk I'm going to keep teaching him about the fact that mommy has a baby in her belly question number two Two, are you going to have more children after this baby? Well, before I had Lake, I wanted to have three kids or four kids, but I think we're just gonna play it by ear. Like, Lake's a pretty good kid, so having this one doesn't make it seem like as scary. I mean, it's still nerve-wracking, gonna have two babies running around, but um, having two kids running around and then wanting a third, I'm not sure if, I'm not sure if I want that. If that's enough for us, then that'll be enough, especially if this one is a girl. If this one is a girl, we might be done, we might not be. Again, it depends on how we feel. If it's a boy, I'll probably want to try for a girl. <laughs> I'll probably, we'll probably have three. And if the third one's a boy, I don't know. I don't know. We're just gonna play it by ears. But that was another one of your guys' questions is, do you know if it's a boy or a girl? And no, we do not. We're kind of old school. We're not gonna find out the gender of the baby just because we believe that there's only so many surprises in your life and this is a pretty big surprise and nobody can ruin it like I'm the type of person that it's kind of hard for people to surprise me because I always end up finding out like I don't know how I don't know if it's like my intuition or what but like I always find out when somebody's trying to surprise me so I can't be surprised but with this it's like there's no way of anybody knowing whether it's a boy or a girl and so there's no way of ruining it and it's like the best surprise ever so and not only that but it helps me get through my labor and delivery because I I just want to know if it's a boy or a girl. So I'm more excited and I'm thinking about that and I'm focused on that more so than the pain that I'm in <laughs> at that given moment. So no, we're not gonna find out the gender. Um, do you feel uncomfortable at night? No. I could sleep any way, anyhow, however I wanted with Lake and I had no issues, never felt uncomfortable, nothing. And with this one, this one moves a little more at night. If I rustle around, turn on my side or turn on my back, I can definitely feel it moving more. Lake didn't really care. Lake, if I r rustled around and moved around in my bed, like Lake didn't ever move, it didn't bother him. But this baby definitely moves more if I move, if that makes sense. But that's about it. But the movement of the baby doesn't bug me or anything. I like feeling it. So no, I haven't had any issues um, at night or feeling uncomfortable. Do you have names picked out? Boy names picked out and a few girl names picked out that we like, but we're still searching. Is your belly higher or lower compared to Lake? This I'm not sure. Like I was talking to Clint about this the other day that like, I don't know if like my boobs are saggier because <laughs> I've been breastfeeding, you know? So my boobs are just like, now they're just like starting to get lower and lower. And so that's why they rest on my belly. Lake, that never happened, one or the other. I feel a lot up here, the baby is hanging out really, really low. So my belly feels high, but the baby is like down by my crotch. Like it kicks me in the crotch. Like I was telling Clint last night, I get crotch pains with this baby. It's so weird, but that's kind of different. I'm not really sure. I don't know if my belly's high or low. I feel like we kind of have to wait until I get a little bit bigger. Is preparing for baby number two dif different than with Lake? Absolutely, it's a lot different. With Lake, I was a lot more unsure. There was one time I went into Target to try and get some stuff ready for in the nursery before I went to Canada to deliver Lake. And I stood in the baby aisle in Target and I started to cry <laughs> because because I didn't know what to get. And I was a lot more anxious and nervous and worried Whereas with this one, I'm a little more relaxed. I kind of know what to get, what to put in the nursery. I kind of already have everything that I need. I mean, unless we have a girl. If we have a girl, then I'm gonna wanna go and get some pink stuff. But if it's a boy, we have everything that we need. I know exactly how I wanna decorate the nursery. Every pregnancy is different. Every baby's gonna be different. And every labor and delivery is going to be different. But I just kind of have just this feeling that's kind of just like, However it pans out, however it works out, I know that it's gonna be okay. So yeah, it has been a lot different preparing for this baby than it was with Lake. Last question, is the baby moving lots already? Yes, 
that is something that I've loved. I love the fact that with your second baby, you can feel the baby a lot sooner because that's my, one of my favorite parts about being pregnant. So those are all the questions. This video was kind of like a comparison slash from when I found out I was pregnant until now. And I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you guys have any more questions, you guys can leave them in the comments below and I'll definitely get back to you guys. Make sure to go ahead and push that subscribe button and turn on those notifications so that the next time I post a video, you guys will be notified. And also go ahead and push that like button because it really supports my channel and I'll see you guys in my next video. Stay beautiful inside and out. So thanks for watching. Bye guys. Stay beautiful.